I managed to install Arch Linux, but not without a new set of challenges along the way. Let's take a look. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So I managed to install Arch, finally, and I worked out what my problem with UEFI mode when I was using the uh, VirtualBox install. It wasn't actually a problem with uh, UEFI mode or VirtualBox, it was a problem with me. Um, I forgot to remove the live install media from VirtualBox. <laughs> when I realized that, I felt really dumb. But I still went and installed Arch in BIOS mode because I felt like it. And it, there could have been other challenges that came along the way. Maybe there actually was a problem with UEFI mode and it was just shadowed by that problem. Anyway, so I got my Arch install complete. The Arch install itself was fine. Setting up partitions was fine. It was after that when I had some problems. So Wi-Fi just didn't want to work. I'd set up Network Manager during my install process and I don't know. <laughs> I did manage to find a... So I found a hack workaround which was just setting my uh, network adapter down and then just connecting to it with NetCTL. Uh, connecting to the network with NetCTL I mean. I don't know why Network Manager wasn't working but I need an internet connection to get i3 installed. Uh, so before that, I had tried going back into the Arch ISO, installing dialogue so I could use Wi-Fi menu. Wi-Fi menu just wasn't letting me connect because the the network adapter was up, but it wasn't connected to a network, but it sort of was. So if I ran the status message, it would say that it's down, but it also wouldn't let me... Uh, set the connection up until I set it down again. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the problem was, but huh, what fixed it? I don't. I don't know how this fixed it. I don't know why. I I don't know why at all. Um, so once I got into i three, after playing around with that with my hack fix, I managed to get a bunch of stuff installed that I wanted installed. Then I remember that I also installed uh, NM Applet, which is, if you don't know, the Network Manager Applet, which gives you a little icon in your system tray. So I launched that, I rebooted, and everything worked correctly. I don't know. <sighs> as soon as I opened up the GUI, everything worked. Maybe I was missing something, I don't know. Maybe NMAP does more than just gives you a GUI front end for it, and I just didn't realize. If someone knows, let me know. If my computer is just broke, let me know. If you know anything about what's happening, let me know. But apart from that, the only other problems I've had so far have been problems of my own making. Like, I was launching Dbus launch after i3, and that was causing my Xorg server to crash instantly when I ran startx. Uh, I've also got a command to set my wallpaper, which isn't running. But I'm not sure if there's a problem with the command or if I've just got it in the wrong place. I'm not actually sure. I, I'm still learning this stuff. So, yeah, there's still a lot of configuration to do. A lot of stuff that I want to install a lot of stuff like that, um, but I have a working computer now. Another thing though, uh, I thought I would have to replace my drive because I have a, I've installed a 512 M.2 now, but I thought my laptop only had one slot, so I was going to replace the 256 in there. Turns out, it has two slots, and the 256 is soldered in. Who solders in a drive? Acer, what are you doing? Um... <clears throat> So now I have a Windows drive still. So I'm not probably not going to use it, but I might as well leave it there in case I need to use it. I was just going to use Windows for ASP.NET, so I was just going to virtual machine it. But if I've got a Windows install still working, then hey, it's fine. Uh, I just need to get the Windows drive detected by the grub loader. I'm pretty sure you can do that. 
Otherwise, when I want to switch to Windows, I'll have to go back into the BIOS and just switch the boot order. So yeah, Arch is running fine right now. It's far quicker than Windows was because there's nothing installed on it right now. I've had no problems except Wi-Fi, so if you have the option, use Ethernet and only ever use Ethernet. But if you don't, then hopefully your lock is better than mine. I might leave the commands I used in the description, just in case, I don't know. <clears throat> just say where you need to input the name of your network device, because obviously it's going to have my network device name in there, or I'm going to put a placeholder there. And also then the name of the profile that you set up with Wi-Fi menu. But yeah, so if you have that problem, then you could run those commands. But hopefully, hopefully no one else has the exact same weird issue that I have. Anyway, I think that's pretty much the video. So yeah, if you liked it, remember to like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon below if you want to see more from my channel. And I think that might be pretty much it. I will give you guys some more updates if I have anything I want to talk about about Arch, or I might start recording an Arch video. I don't know. We'll see. I still don't have a very good webcam, though, or a very good mic on my laptop, so maybe not for now. Maybe when I get my desk and get some space to set that stuff up. But, yeah, for now, we're going to keep doing these. And, yeah, I guess. Anyway, uh, I am out.